Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could remove backgrounds on photos using Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. So without further ado, let's get started. So go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. I have already two photos loaded up for this demonstration. The first step that we can do to remove the background is by using the new feature of Adobe CC 2020 that utilizes artificial intelligence to remove the subject from the background. So to use the feature, just simply click on the layer and be sure that it is unlocked. If you have the layer lock, such as this one, just simply click the lock button and go to the window and make sure to open up properties. Once you already loaded up properties, scroll down till you see these um, quick actions and you can see this remove background button. If you cannot click that remove background button, just simply right click the layer and convert it to smart object or rasterize the layer. Once you are ready, just simply hit the button and it will automatically separate the subject from the background and that's it you have separated your subject and uh, your image is now um, transparent however this particular feature doesn't work in all situations such as this one where and we need to separate the subject from the entire thing including the chair so if we use the same procedure on this one as you can see that the um masks it includes some parts of the image that which are supposedly not included so what we can do is just control z and again if this layer is locked you unlock that one first and then go to this um, tool right here click that quick selection tool and click on your layer and click on the select and mask by default you might have this kind of um preview where uh, it's quite dark or you can barely see the um, image or the masks that you are selecting then select a color that is least present on the photo and be sure to under the view mode be sure to select the overlay option so that we could clearly see what we are masking out of this image then we're going to click on this one and we're going to paint around the subject that we want to include or get on this photo it will automatically um detect edges as much as it can and include those um, edges that are needed to be included on the image so just repeat doing this process until you get much of the um, parts of this image and then we are going to refine it later and once you're happy with your selection i'm quite happy with this kind of um, selection you can go ahead and click on this refine edge tool this refine edge tool will detect the edges and fix this kind of rough edges you can zoom in by using the alt and scroll scroll up and down to zoom in and out in order for you to be able to look at this um, photo and hit the space bar to uh, be able to navigate around the photo so again we're going to use this refine edge tool and you can adjust your brush accordingly you must not use a very small brush or otherwise it will take a lot of time to process the particular um, adjustments that you are trying to adjust and also don't make a way too big brush otherwise it will uh, mess up the details on your photo so we're going to just trace around these edges right here and this is the manual method that we can do in order to get the details on this photo you just simply go ahead and uh, brush around the selection until you get a clean mask by using the refine edge tool. Now that I'm quite happy with my current mask and selection, as you can see, it's quite clean if you are going to check it right here. However, you can see this kind of um, contamination on colors or the residue of the background color before. So what you have to do is you can go ahead and click on the smooth out. You could add a little bit around 4 or 1 um, depending on your needs on your mask. You just add a little bit to um, fix those rough edges on your edit or on your mask. And go to the output settings once you're, you've finalized your mask. And click on the decontaminate colors. Check that one up and hit the OK button. And now you can see that it's now separated from the background. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And if this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.